Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mida from Ignition Off Road and today we're going to talk about roof racks. So as you've probably seen from a previous video, I used to run this rack right here. So this rack is made by Adventure Kings, sold by Four Wheel Drive Supercenter. It's a rooftop tent rack made of steel designed for, well, it's a universal fit for four-wheel drives like your Land Cruiser and Parados and stuff like that. This thing here, this weighs in at 29.5 kilos, so it's quite heavy. And um, hence the reason I'm actually going with a different setup. So on my right here, I've got a Rhino Rack aluminum tray. This one here I picked up secondhand, super cheap. This one comes in at 13.4 kilograms. So you can see I've shaved off more than half the weight just in this rack. Obviously there is a decent size difference. This one here is designed for the rooftop tent, whereas this one here will not be running the rooftop tent. I'm actually replacing the tent with a swag for future camp setups, just to go with a lighter setup. Now, this one here, I've got a few accessories that I'm gonna be using on this. Basically, I'm gonna try and put my spare wheel up here, jerry cans, that sort of stuff. Probably put the swag up here as well. It's plenty big enough for that. So now that I've shown you the new rack, let's just jump into the accessories I've bought for it. Okay, so onto the accessories that I'm gonna be running on the roof rack. So first things first, we have here, this is a universal awning kit by Rhino Rack. Now currently I'm running the Adventure Kings two meter by 2.5 meter awning. So basically with the adapters provided in here, I'll be able to fit that onto the current roof rack that I've got. So next up, because I purchased the roof rack secondhand, it didn't actually come with any of the fitting kit. So what I've got here is basically just your simple fitting kit for the vortex bars that I'm running on my Subaru. Final product I have here from Rhino Rack is actually the spare wheel holder. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I wanna actually put that spare wheel up on the roof and give myself a little bit more space in the boot of the car. So this little product here, that's gonna basically allow me to do that. So as you've seen, I've got the Rhino Rack roof rack with the bars and all these accessories. So Rhino Rack, if you're watching this video and you wanna send me some products, hit me up. Also, speaking of companies hitting me up, I've actually been contacted by SUV Doorstep. So SUV Doorstep sent me out one of their products. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of it. So basically you just hook it onto your door latch and then you've got this nice rubber piece here that protects the actual paintwork on the car. And basically once it's hooked on, that's gonna create a nice little step you can use to access the roof. So if you wanna purchase your own SUV doorstep, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Thank you SUV doorstep for sending out this product. Now I'm gonna be using this when I install the roof rack coming up now. So installing the new roof rack, the first thing I have to do is unlock the rails and pull out the old rubber strips. Luckily, the new roof rack is super light and easy to lift up onto the roof. Next, it was time to attach the SUV doorstep and start attaching the roof rack to the rails. What's cool about the Rhino Rack is that the fitting hardware doubles as anchor points for strapping down your rooftop items. With the roof rack installed, the next job was to attach the Adventure Kings awning. Unfortunately, the universal brackets didn't fit, but that's nothing a file couldn't fix. Instead of fitting to the rack, the Rhino Rack Universal Awning Kit attaches directly onto the Vortex bars. With the rack and awning attached and the bars aligned, I am now going to tighten the last of the fittings. Now it's time for the spare wheel holder. This is simply a matter of placing the fitting plate under the rack and securing with the supplied bolts and hardware. It's a very quick and simple solution to securing the spare wheel. And here is the end result.
Okay, so that new roof rack is now installed. Now, I do apologize. In this video, I didn't go into very much detail in the actual products and in the actual installation of the roof rack itself, but I guess I did want to document the actual fitting of the roof rack and that I'm changing my setup. Now, as I said earlier, the main reason I'm changing is because of the weight. So those Vortex bars by Rhino Rack that I'm running, they can take a load of 60 kilos per bar. And with the roof rack weighing in about 30 kilograms, plus a 50 kilo rooftop tent, and then the addition of jerry cans, which added a lot more weight, that total combined weight was starting to skyrocket. And hence, I went for a lighter setup. Now this new aluminium tray by Rhino Rack weighs in about 13 kilograms, so it's a hell of a lot lighter. Along with that, I've got the 22 kilogram spare wheel on the top, which means I've got a lot more room in the boot of the car now. And I'm putting my new spag up there, which is about eight kilos. That means I've still got this sleeping equipment up on the roof, but obviously now it's a lot lighter of a setup. Anyway, that's it for this video and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.